So at 12 years old, I got the motivation to do it. And an optimist club came along and saved my life, straightened me out. I became class president. Uh, I didn't tell you I stuttered very bad, bumps all over my face, no confidence. So you can imagine what kind of kid I was. Handsome guy like you used to and stutter, old and, stutter. Oh, and I had bumps. And had no girlfriend, because they would talk to me. Had Nobody no money, believe that. No bike. I didn't have a bike till I was 16. <laughs> Everybody else had a car, right? Wow. Well, I want to tell you something very interesting, though. After Miss Clough came along, saved my life, and uh, 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 entered the oratorical contest, and I found out when I talked in front of a group of people, I could talk without stuttering. Without stuttering. And I eventually became class president. It was a wonderful thing. Well, I wanted to be president of everything after that. <laughs> but being poor, I had to work. So while I was class president in high school, I worked at the factory at General Motors, Chevrolet Gear and Axle. Now, I must have fudged the age a little bit because I was 16. And, but I was working. Uh, Were you helping your mother? I was helping my mother, and I wanted to buy a house. So I graduated in 68, and I was working at Chevrolet Gear and Axle. And I was a, was a boring machine, and you have so much noise in your ear, and at night you pick the still out your fingers. It was something. Mm. Good thing, it was, I was working midnight. And on the 89th day, now 90 days you get tenure, and midnight you go to sleep. And it, I guess I must have went to use the men's room, fell asleep up there, and somebody knocked on the door and said, man, you in trouble. I said, what time is it? You've been going an hour and a half. I said, no, man. That was it. They fired me. How many days had you had it? 89. One more day, uh, I would have been tenured. Mm -hmm. But they did me a tremendous favor. And I want to just pause right there if I can. Because I want to tell people that when you have a challenge in life, somebody just did you a tremendous favor because you've got to sink or swim now. Now, you're going to either make it or not. You've got to put on your blindness, and if you give it everything you got, you're going to make it. Right. Do you employ that tactic with your employees? Yeah, I do. As a matter of fact, I also believe anytime something bad happens, something equivalent good happens, and I go straight for the good. I go straight home to you know, the computer, I say something is in the air that's very good. I just have to draw it out. I mean, it's just philosophically how I think. I agree with you. So, what I, but, but while I was there, on maybe I got approved around the 80, 80th day or something for FHA mortgage. Now, I was 17 at the time. You had already determined you wanted to be in real estate. I, already, I, I, I had determined I wanted to buy my, mo my mother a house first. Because okay. we, where we lived, it had a dirt basement. It was terrible. Called the Michigan basement, right? Oh, whatever it was, it was bad. Uh, there were spiders down there. Uh, it smelled. I just mm -hmm. couldn't even take the smell of it so bad. I, I couldn't take it. Mm -hmm. So I had to buy my mom a house. Now, since I was not of legal age, 17 is too young, she had to sign as my legal guardian. You're 18, you can't, you can't die. And it was a two flat, so I bought my first income property, and it was very little money down, two or two hundred, four or five hundred, whatever it was. The payment was $136, and the guy, I thought he told me it was going to be 115 I said, what am I going to do with this extra $21, man? You told me 115 So anyway, he looked at me, you know, I guess he said that, I'm sorry, you know. But I said, I got to go into business now in order to pay this note. <laughs> <laughs> $21 difference. $21. Right? 